Foxcast Zone. No, that was really stupid. I apologize for that. Um, but I'm not going to edit it out. Why? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. Anyway, we are back out at the shop. And uh, I got a lot to cover for you today because a lot has been happening. And uh, yeah, huge news going on here. But before I get into any of that, um, remember June 9th. Jackson, Tennessee, Jackson Dragway, the Fords take over my event, second event so far that I've done. Um, I'm planning all kinds of crazy stuff for it, but just plan on being in Jackson, Tennessee, Jackson Dragway, June 9th for the event. Number two, if you're watching this video on Sunday as opposed to like Monday, Wednesday, Friday when the videos actually come out, that is because you are a subscriber and I definitely appreciate your support. Lots of really big things, uh, giveaways, all kinds of awesome stuff. On there the link is right below you stop by support the channel I would greatly appreciate it okay so if you were watching the channel last week which you most definitely should be um, we had the little debacle with the engine bay that engine uh, bay issue has been solved um, hit it with some more paint as you can see problem is fixed um, been working on the polishing it's coming out real good Alex actually got in here and did some polishing on it too. So thanks to Alex. Oh, there's Dover. What up, G? Hey. <laughs> Engine bay looks fantastic. Obviously, some more polishing to go. I mean, it's it's a long process, so just gotta keep working at it. But it is very close. We saved you some. Yeah, <laughs> saved me a little bit. It's flat though. Just a little more polishing, and it'll be about perfect. Okay, so next on the agenda is the engine. And the engine is out of its uh, condom, basically. Yeah, it's not wrapped anymore. But as you can see, got the brand new Ford cam covers on there. They are freaking beautiful. All new hardware, all new seals, everything. And uh, the updated dipstick style. You can actually get these from a Ford dealer. They're super cheap. I mean, you can get them, both of them. They come as a kit with all the hardware, the dipstick, everything for, I think it ended up being like 70, 80 bucks. But I mean, to, to make the engine look basically brand new on the top, it was worth it to me. And then of course the brand new uh, timing cover from Power by the Hour had all the machine work done. Um, but all the Power by the Hour accessory brackets are back on and um, engine looks super clean it's it's ready to drop in looks phenomenal and uh, I'm couldn't be more excited but as you can see the headers and K member are still on it the K members got to come off because we're about to square up the K member to the car um, maximum motorsports stresses highly that you make sure that the care the I can't talk today the K member is square in the car um, before you actually put everything together and drop it in and all that. So I will be showing you that, how to square up a K member. We're gonna be following the Maximum Motorsports instructions. It's nothing really to it. Just, you know, measure your points, make sure everything's adjusted, drill some pilot holes um, to line the K member up and you're done. But I will be covering that very shortly. All right, so the next thing on the list is the fact that the four eye build um, of the car that we actually drug up on the trailer, go back and watch that, the, Oh, what was it called? This one's about to be scrapped or something like that. But it is going forward as well. And as you can see, the mini tubs have arrived. And you got to see the car was partially stripped last week. But now it is actually completely... Uh-oh. Holy God. There's Gary. There's Gary. Hold on. We're going to go over there and holler at Gary in just a second. But i got to show you this 86 because it is a complete shell everything is gone dash interior i mean this is a shell and uh it will be getting mini tubs coyote probably a sub 2500 pound car it's going to be ridiculous. keep an eye out for that one all right guys so we got another guest on the show this foxcast security right here you mess with foxcast <laughs> Gary's going to tear your ass up. <laughs> no, no, seriousness though, guys. Uh, Gary's got his 88 SSP out here. And um, this is one of those cars that you got to really look at it to see all the details. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to show you a few of them. This one right here, which I love it. And he actually just put the brand new forge welds. Man, it looks good. But anyway, talking about the details, and if I miss any, Gary, you gotta help me out because there's a lot that I don't know about. This is the first one. Mirror's been deleted over here. And then right here, you notice the hole is gone for the second wiper. And moving on, the window molding's gone. This was made for it. It's just like everywhere you look on this car, you see there's no moldings on the side. Let me know if I miss anything. <laughs> and then like if you look back here, the tailpipes are tucked way up in there. And of course they're painted black to kind of hide them, which it's a little flaked off. But those are tucked up in there. And then down here, bumper was opened up a little bit where the Mustang usually is. Oh, is okay. We gotta remember that when we get around the front. But the car is ridiculous. Mirror's gone again here, and then right here on the front, you can actually tell those are cut out. I know it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, but yeah, this car has had all kinds of crazy custom modifications done to it. Yes, spring has sprung and uh, the pollen is everywhere. If you're from the south, you already know, but if you live somewhere else, when you come down south, pollen season is bad. But, so let's take a look in here. Obviously, the door panels, completely custom. And then, console, custom made, you got your window buttons here. I mean, just everything. Certified calibration, SSP. Headliner, totally smoothed out, roll cage. I mean, just everywhere you look. Twenty-eight eighty. God, it's just crazy. Wow. Perfect quarter glasses don't see those those are like two thousand dollars right there <laughs> but all right Gary so it's like is there anything better than a black notch on drag wheels I mean it just it's like you cannot get any better than this carbon fiber hood you can see it see all the brackets been drilled out everywhere and that's a, is that an S -trim? an S trim supercharger I'm really sorry for the wind guys trying to shield it but you got a brace over here of course the old school GT40 I mean this car just has details everywhere This car, I, there was some, it was some guy about an hour from here that built it, wasn't it? And it's been years ago. And this guy, I guess he was like an engineer or something. And the detail is crazy. And like I've always been a fan of this car. And I hadn't got to see it in a few years, so definitely appreciate Gary bringing it out because, man, I'm a fan. <laughs>
Alright guys, so you are all up to date on everything that's going on and uh, stay tuned because we're about to get hard and heavy on the uh, oh hold on yes I put the engine cover on it just to uh, show it off but yeah um, two boxes right here that would be the evaporator and the heater core so it's about to get real and doing that is a rite of passage if you've ever owned a Fox body you got to know how to do a heater core I've done two. I didn't really care to do them again, but that's what we're about to do. So, in the meantime, don't forget June 9th, Jackson Dragway, Jackson, Tennessee, our event is popping off. Uh, link below for the patron page. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and uh, we're gonna get back to work on... It's getting close. Yeah.